Hi friends, so today we are going to learn how to make a dot to dot. Now this will come in handy if you're creating free handouts to give to readers or teachers or libraries or any fun events that you do. It's always fun and I always really enjoy handing out something when I visit. That way whether a child orders a book or not, everybody gets to take something home. So if you remember back when you were in school and you had visitors or something, something special happened. It always sucked if you were the kid who didn't have the money to buy the book to get the special thing at the school book fairs. Like it always was never fun to be the person who didn't get to have something. So when I visit, I want all the visits to be happy and memorable for all students, no matter their financial status. So free handouts that you can have printed off at a any print store, even if you print them yourself or really cheap is always a really fun thing to do. And these resources don't have to be expensive. You can easily create them yourself. So let's make a dot to dot. Now this dot to dot is going to be for Save the Arctic. So here is a spread from Save the Arctic and I think it would be fun to do a dot to dot of Nanu, this little polar bear sleeping. So let's just get him centered up here. And you do have to make sure if you are not your own illustrator, you do need permission from your illustrator. It does depend on what you agreed to when you got your illustrations in your contract because there are some cases where you cannot trace over their artwork. So if you are not your illustrator, Go ahead and check with your contract, check with your illustrator and see if this is something that you are allowed to do. If you are your own illustrator, obviously you can do whatever you'd like. So if you have permission or if you're your own illustrator, let's move on. So first I like to lower the opacity down. Ooh, not on that layer, right here. Uh, just a little bit. That way it's not as bright and colorful as it would normally be. Now I do only want to focus on Nanu here, but I'm going to go over to my panel over here and look for our shape tool. So here it is, here's a line. Uh, we want an ellipse, which is a circle. So we're going to zoom in and so we are going to click on our shape tool and we want to hold shift otherwise it can get all wonky but when we hold shift it stays a perfect circle and we're just going to make a little tiny dot and let go. Our fill is black which is what we want because this activity page is going to be black and white and then no stroke. So a stroke is if you just want an outline but we want it filled in. Now we're going to move this onto Nanu. I don't think anything's on that layer, so I'm just going to get rid of it before I get confused. <laughs> and actually, we're going to start here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste and put it at turning points. Now, these can be more complicated or more complex depending on the age group for your book. My age group typically is first grade. So, uh, however, kids read it from kindergarten up to, I've heard even fifth grade teachers reading my book, which I find really fascinating. But we don't want too many because then the number is going to get really high. So depending on how high they can count. So if you're in kindergarten, you may want to stick to less dots than if your audience is in fifth grade where they can count like pros. I'm actually going to move this out a little bit because I want a little bit of, well, that's actually a pretty straight line. I want a little amount of dots just because I don't want to get my buddies confused. Oops. All right. 
So these feet ones can be really nice straight lines. And I may go back and delete other lines. We will see how this ends up working out. Okay, here, well actually, let's make this one a little bit of a complicated, or not complicated, but a little bit of a different dot to dot. So what we can do is we can have this side of Nanu, he can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we can count around until the end. And then we can start over here with maybe numbers to get on this side, or uh, sorry, letters. So we can go A, B, B, C, D, and make it that way. So we can make it as exciting as we want. Let me think. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna stick to one route. So just maybe I did numbers for my last dot to dot handout. So maybe I'll do letters this time. That's if there's not more than 26. <laughs> we'll see how many dots there are. And then what you do for in between the dots is we're just gonna add a new layer and click on B for our brush tool. We wanna make sure that our hardness is at 100%. So we want a nice stiff line and not a fuzzy line. And then we want to add in the parts that aren't a part of the dot to dot. So his eyes and his sleepy little eyebrows. This little, all of his little face creases here. His nose. Since this is a black and white handout, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that nose in. Cool. And his little smile here. And then here he actually has this little curl. And then we have his foot right here. And then here we have a little tail. And then actually right here, that's not going to be a part of the dot to dot, so we'll go ahead and put that in. And here we're going to make these little lines. I'm going to make them actually a little bit smaller, so maybe like 10 points. Bloop, 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 bloop. So his little toenails, we'll have them sneak through. And if we go and go ahead and turn off that layer, you can see it's... Actually, we're gonna get rid of those toenails. That's a little confusing. So you can kind of see the shape it makes, but it's also a little bit of a mystery because we see a face, but we're not really sure what all those dots are going to make. So let's turn this back on and let's figure out which path we want to take to start. So if we start, I was thinking right on this point, so we want a little connection here. 
If we start with this, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh my gosh, we have exactly 26. And then I am just going to finish this line off here. Oh, keep shaking. Okay, so we have 26, so we can do the alphabet. How lucky is that? So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and group all these ellipses onto one layer just so it gets a little bit less messy. And this is our line work here. And now I'm going to grab our text tool and I have it at a 10 point font and I am just going to go ahead and make letters. So we want an A. And where is our first point? It's down here. And then B. And I know this is really tedious, but it will be worth it for those kids who are going to enjoy your book. And it will be something fun and memorable that they can do at school or at home with their parents. And it can also help at home create a discussion of what did you learn today and something fun to do with your parents when you go home. So you are creating a family fun all the way around. And of course, if there's other little young ones at home, there is such a big possibility that they can make copies and make it a whole family fun day, which is really exciting. And if you do go to a school, I like to give the school a extra few copies that way they can go ahead and make extras for their school or if they decide to use it in future lesson plans I obviously want them to use it and enjoy it and make the book a part of that so I do make sure I provide those things for the teachers that way they can make copies so I'm going to just speed the rest of this process up while I go through the alphabet So I just noticed I forgot a dot and I'm just going to go through and check again because I thought I counted 26 at first and it looks like I'm missing a few. So I just want to make sure. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, aha. This should be S. So let's grab our S. T needs to come here. U. We need our V. W is over here. X is here. And then let's do our Y. Okay. Now I'm just going to make one more new layer and we're going to grab a bright pen here. And I'm going to turn off that back layer and you always want to test your dot to dot because you don't want to make it and then realize that it doesn't make sense. So let's do the dot to dot together. Okay, cool, and I'm glad we did this because on my line work, let me change this back up to 20 points. 
it looks like I am missing right here. I want little lines so his ears are a little bit more defined. Okay, now let's look at that again. Cool, okay, that looks a lot better. And I'm actually going to add in a line there to help distinguish this as a leg. Okay, very cool. So this dot to dot is finished. So you can go ahead and export this either as a JPEG or a PNG, depending on if you want a white background or a transparent background. Either way, it doesn't matter. But now you have your very own dot to dot. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do have classes available on my website, bethanystall.com slash classes. Some of these are free and some of these are special perks to my self-pub patrons where you can join and get a plethora of information from self-publishing tips and tricks, some documents I use, contracts, all of the fun stuff behind the scenes of publishing. So I invite you all that you are more than welcome to join that and check that out. Otherwise, again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot. And I just found out that only 5% of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So do me a favor and click that subscribe button so I can see a better percentage on my end. So it will make me a little bit happier at the end of the day. <laughs> Anyways, good luck publishing. I hope you guys have a lot of success this week and I'm wishing you all well. See you next time.